time for the CEO's blog this week and we start, John, with some great news that we've got another Yaris to give away in the Carnival of Cups. Certainly have. Uh, at the board meeting yesterday, the board, um, with absolutely the uh, assistance of Rod Smith and Terry Shields Toyota, we're um, putting up a uh, Yaris again this year for all those people who attend the Carnival Cups meetings. They'll have an opportunity to enter the draw. If they're lucky enough to be drawn out, well, they'll be at the awards night in 2016 where they may win that Yaris. And the good thing is, every club's the same. They all get one representative in that big draw at the awards night. I uh, certainly do. Um, Greg, the point is, it's it's when you pay to go through the gate, you'll receive an entry form. Just fill in the entry form, put it in the barrel, be lucky enough to be drawn out at the meeting on the day, and you will certainly get that trip to Sydney. But you must at attend the awards night, of course, to uh, be eligible. Now, busy like the Leyland brothers, travelling plenty of New South Wales, and you had some important meetings during this week. Certainly, uh, the full board and uh, Reed Sanders and myself travelled down to uh, Wagga, and we met with all the clubs from down there. Very positive. Everything in the Riverina is going along very well. We certainly heard what they, they require over the next 12 months and maybe a bit longer, but um, no, it's, it's all good. What's uh, really uh, fantastic about the trip was the support that the other clubs have for the development of the new track at Wagga. What we, uh, the board and myself, uh, assured those other clubs is this is not about uh, reducing their opportunities, it's about improving their opportunities, enhancing their opportunities, and particularly for those horsemen, owners, trainers, drivers, uh, in the Riverina with this new track at Wagga. Some great news from the principal club too, some new initiatives. Firstly, prize money. There's going to be $8,000 races midweek. Yeah, the principal club is continuing on with the uh, policy they've had for a number of years since the sale of Harold Park, and that is to use their own funds to, to boost up the prize money. And uh, it's been a very good year last year with the uh, with payments coming in well above what uh, what we expected, what we budgeted for. The club um, was a, a major recipient in that respect, and they've allocated those monies that they earned above uh, where they thought thought they would be last year to the next two years by increasing that midweek prize money, thousand dollars per race. That's a significant increase in prize money, unmatched anywhere else in Australia, and it's never been matched anywhere with any of these prize money increases from the principal club. So it's important to point out that's 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 a club funding issue that the club have, have paid for this. Certainly, yeah. Uh, some people might think, well, why isn't it flowing to across the rest of the st state? Well, the point is, it's their money they put into it. Yes, they're under. They're, and I must point this out. It's a tr tr tremendous effort by them because there's certainly uh, impact on their financial resources through the uh, the economy as it is and the global financial crisis as we see it. So for the club to continue to support the industry from their own funds, it's they should be commended and congratulated that they see the entire industry um, as, as part of what they need to foster. Front page of the Trot Guide this week, major boost for breeders. Some great news. Once again, the principal club are kicking the tin. When does the... Print when, when do the, um, the, the this commence from the, the fact that they're going to be paying for the uh, full notification fees? Well, yes, it, as you say, another benefit. And we had prize me there a moment ago. Well, this is for the breeders, and what we've got now is that as from next year, so that's you need to breed a foal this year. Next year, all the foal notification fees will be picked up by the principal club, and they've assured that for the th three following years. So um, it, it's it's tremendous. It's it's worth um, probably near enough to a quarter of a million dollars uh, in the first year to, for for them to pick up that amount of money. And it's just a, another little thing and that assists the breeders, but it assists every breeder. It's okay to uh, increase prize money, but uh, generally the winner gets the major share there. But um, of course, with the prize money um, structure, it does pay back back to last, but, but but in this instance, everybody shares in it. What about the Carnival of Cups? Canola Cup kicks off on Monday, kicks off the uh, the Carnival of Cups Carnival, if you like. It certainly does, and if anybody out there in the Central West is not at that Carnival Cups meeting, I'll be extremely disappointed. I know you will be there, Greg. Um, of course, Amanda Randall will be there, so if anybody needs to talk to Amanda about club issues, make sure you're uh, Ugarra. I'll be there too and uh, if Amanda can't satisfy your question out there ask me. Well John enjoy Ugarra and we'll catch you again next week behind the, uh, the CEO's desk. Thank you. Thank you Greg.